Another sexually violent predator will soon be placed in a rural East County community. Our Jason Sloss is live for us in Hakumbo with reaction from folks who tried to stop it and what comes next. Jason. Hey, good evening. Well, when this sexually violent predator is released from a state hospital, he will move into the home right behind me. We've heard so many of these cases, the state placing SVPs in rural East County. It's happened before in Hakumba, and folks here are not pleased it's happening again. Hakumba residents are on edge as they prepare for the arrival of 71 year old William Stafford, a sexually violent predator who's expected to move into this home off old Highway 80 within the next couple of weeks. Harley Poole says he just moved into the home next door. Just my friend, this is uh, his property. He, he said that the sheriff showed up uh, yesterday or the day before and just warning people. Last month, after hearing from angry Hakumba residents, San Diego Superior Court Judge David Gill authorized Stafford's release into the rural East County community. Stafford was convicted for multiple sex crimes in San Diego County from 1968 to 1990, including the sexual assault of a girl under 18. I feel bad for the gentleman, but I feel bad for all his victims, too. It's like where you, he can't live in town because he can't live next to a, a church, a school, anything, but um, I don't know. Here it's easier to pick up kids on the side of the road, too. Residents point out the home is just a few hundred feet away from a school bus stop. We had a lot of children running around out here, you know, and some of them are like, walking along the road. Classified as an SVP and diagnosed with a mental disorder suggesting he could reoffend, Stafford has been receiving treatment at Colinga State Hospital. Under the state's conditional release program, Stafford will continue to live under supervision in Hakamba. One resident who wanted to remain anonymous said he hopes the system will work. That's the whole point of the justice system is that, you know, you pay your debt and then you're released. You know, if he wasn't safe to be in society, then don't release him. In the past, we looked at the supervision and there's really none. Uh, they say they put ankle monitors on them, but we've had some that had to actually be uh, violated on their terms of release and, you know, return back to uh, the facility. Speaking out against the decision to release Stafford, County Supervisor Joel Anderson says there is now one active sexually violent predator for every 108 Hakumba residents, making the community a de facto SVP village. Our state officials need to reevaluate the SVP placement process. In the meantime, we are exploring what we can do on a county level to stop the dumping of SVPs in our residential communities. And again, Stafford is expected to move into the home behind me within the next couple of weeks. Live in Hakumba, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right.